Good afternoon. Boy, has the sickness hit your family yet? Have you had all of the coughing and sneezing and congestion run through your family, your kids, your friends, your loved ones? Well, it's going through our family right now. I think a couple weeks ago, I had a little tiny bit of a cold, but now it's coming back with a vengeance and it's hitting all of our kids. Yesterday, everyone was down for the count. Jackson, Calvin, and Tommy were all in bed all day yesterday, and here's the picture to prove it. So today, it's day two of that. I think people are starting to feel a little bit better, but Ellie, you basically had an ocular migraine yesterday, completely different, at least that you've ever experienced before. It wasn't mostly pain, it was, it was just like vision. To me, it's like scary. It's like at night and it's happened twice now where like I wake up and the whole room looks like literally an old school static TV. It's a mind game and I I hate it. But we all were up for hours last night just cause like no one could sleep, everyone was sniffling. So I'm gonna go lay down cause I was falling asleep drying my hair. <laughs> I literally was like, I'm gonna go lay down. That would have been a funny picture to see you just like asleep with a hair dryer just like Bruh. I'm done ski. Yeah, you go take a nap. And that is what I am grateful for right now. Thanksgiving is just around the corner and I am so grateful that we are able to just say, hey Ellie, go take a nap. Kids, go take a nap, watch a movie. Oh, I hear that cough, Jackson. So right now, my job is to make sure everyone has some medicine in them, to make sure that these coughs aren't hurting their throats, that these sneezes are being wiped up with tissue and not bedding. <laughs> and. I've got to show you what we made yesterday because it is so delicious and we're gonna have it all over again today. If you've been following us or any of Ellie's family members for any amount of time, you've probably heard about our cookbook. We had physical copies of this cookbook until we sold out and now we have digital copies and I'll have that link down below. But in that, one of our most favorite recipes is chicken noodle soup, homemade chicken noodle soup. And I thought, you know what, our whole family needs that because everyone's so sick. And so I I went to the store and I got everything that we needed for it and I made it yesterday and it is so delicious. Now, the one thing that's different about this that is, I don't know, maybe sacrilegious, mom, Ellie's mom, you're gonna have to tell me if this is okay to do or not. I didn't want to make the homemade noodles, so I just bought some egg noodles from the store and put that in the soup instead. It was gonna take a long time to hand make noodles, so I just bought them. I hope that's okay. But this soup has been so good. In fact, our neighbors down the road, our friends, Jonathan and Susan, they were sick too. So I brought them some last night. And it's just so nice to be able to have a big old pot of soup to have when you're not feeling well because it feels good for your soul, I feel like. So I'm heating this up for all of us to have for lunch right now. Six years ago, today, we welcomed a new family member to our family. <laughs> That's right, we got Penny, and I still remember making the long drive to go pick up our pretty Penny. And we're gonna celebrate today because that's when she entered our family. We, you know, a lot of people celebrate the day of their dog's birth, but we celebrate whenever our dogs join our family. Ellie has woken up, and I'm gonna take Penny on a little adventure, and we're gonna celebrate her today. Good girl. Hi, Penny. Yes, Penny, you leave your mark just about everywhere, don't you? When I watched the video of getting Penny for the first time today, oh, my heart just melted at everything. Our old house, Jackson and Calvin so young, my dad without a beard, <laughs> you know? So much has changed in these short six years. And it's just so wonderful to be able to look back. As I get older, looking back becomes more painful too. They, they say that nostalgia is the pain of remembering. It's like you're wishing for that time again and I miss that time so much. I want to hold on to it for so much because our kids are grown up. Like they're still very young, but that time that we had with Jackson and Calvin, that time that Penny was just a tiny little puppy who could fit under the couch and wouldn't come out, that's gone. But I am so glad we have that footage of that. And I'm so grateful that we make these videos for that reason. So we can look back and appreciate those moments. And I'm glad that we're making these videos now so we can appreciate these moments that we have. 
Jackson and Calvin were so young. And I'm so excited to have those experiences again with our daughter. Oh my gosh, I think that's the first time I've said like our daughter instead of just baby girl. It's gonna be fun to relive those and have those firsts all over again. Hey, you ready to go? Let's go. Oh my goodness. Lots of good stuff over here, huh? <laughs> you seen something you like? You seen something you like? <laughs> what do you think of this? Does that look pretty good? <laughs> I think that's gonna be perfect for you. Six years ago, we got Penny, and I thought it'd be fun to get her a little treat. Look, she, <laughs> this was the only treat that she put her mouth around in the store. She smelled a lot of different treats, and she is ready. Okay, so Tommy, I'm gonna give you a little piece, and I want you to give it to her and say soft, and you can give it to Penny. Soft. Good. You almost bought my finger Yeah, now. Cal. Sorry, Copper, it's not your birthday. He's trying to sneak in there. <laughs> look, 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 look. Penny will be nice. Penny. Of course, Penny is the nicest. Give Copper one. Are you ready, my sweet little Penny fan? <laughs> Seriously, little, guys, she's lost weight. She has lost and weight. And she's kept it off, I'm proud of her. You can give that to Copper. I remember when you were just a sweet little puppy. She's like, move out of the way, Tommy. <laughs> soft, you be so, so soft. Huge. Good girl! My labs were never soft grabbing food. Yeah. They would launch and eat my hand. Oh. You've taught Penny well because mm -hmm. she is very soft. Yes. She's a good girl, good girl. Happy birthday, Penny! Oh my gosh. It is a beautiful day. It's beautiful today. It is like 60 degrees almost. In the end of November, it is 60 degrees and I'm here for it. It is gorgeous. What do you see? A lizard. A lizard? Oh, there it is. They love that red rock. Yeah, can you catch it? I can't. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> They're fast. They are quick, huh? If you can catch a lizard, you're pretty good, huh? You know what we need to do sometime? I don't think this time of year is good. We need to go do the scorpions that, and get the black I lights. I want to do that every summer and then by the time nighttime comes, I'm so ready for the kids <laughs> to go to bed. <laughs> But we need to do scorpion hunting. Yes. I think it's Calvin's turn, right? Tommy oh, just yeah, went. Tommy yeah. Just... Okay, Calvin, you go. Mr. Jump ahead the whole board. Two uh, oranges. Two oranges. What are you, you going to turn when you're four? Oh my gosh, Calvin, you are ahead of everyone. A purple. Yay. Calvin, Mom, it's your turn. You want me to go Cal for you? Yeah. yeah. Mom, you I draw two yellow. Okay, one yellow. Two yellow. Good job. Here you go, Tom. A green can. Oh no! Tom, you have to go you back. You have to go back. Well, at least he found his color. Yep. Yep. Okay, Calvin. Mom, it's your favorite color. Pink. One mm -hmm. red. <laughs> One red. Okay, Jackson. Mom, you got two blue. Two blue. Okay, Tommy, yeah. your turn. Oh yeah. <gasps> Wait. Okay, Tommy, you're right here and you get to move to right there. I believe I can fly. <laughs> Tommy, th that's a candy. <laughs> here you go, Cal. Calvin! If I go green, I win. Green is the last phase before you go in. He has jumped half the board. This is insane. Let's see, this could be it. Two green. No! Can we keep, can we keep Calvin! Playing? Can we keep playing? Yeah. Sure. That was probably the most fun that we've ever had in a family game night. And I think it was because Tommy <laughs> didn't take over and was like, no, this is how we're gonna play. He actually followed the rules and did a great job. Didn't you, bud? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> you did. <laughs> he did. He did good. And that was just so much fun. I remember growing up and going to my aunt's and uncle's house and they loved to play card games and they did it as a family and it was something that I was always envious of. We yeah. just never really did that as kids. We didn't either. We were not big into games, but I really enjoyed tonight. We played a few rounds. Oh, there's my hair. <laughs> we played a few rounds and it was really fun and I cannot wait to play again the rest of the week because it's Thanksgiving break and we're gonna try and like do a lot more just family games while we kind of are all under the weather. Yeah, absolutely. It, it was honestly fun. Everyone had a good laugh. Now we're eating dinner and I have all of like the kids medicine. This just came today too. <laughs> that throat spray Ellie was talking yeah. about in another video. Because 
you guys got up at like four in the morning. That means all of us, this whole house has been up since four. That means you all are going to bed early. And I'm the only one that napped today. They all missed out. I, it was the best glorious I, nap. I tried to get them down, but when you've got three crazy kids, it just doesn't happen all the time. If there's a kid who will wake up the rest of your kids during bedtime, do you know who it is? Like automatically, who is that kid? For our family, it's Calvin. Calvin will wake people up. He, <laughs> I had Tommy asleep and Calvin was singing a song and it woke Tommy up. I'm like, Calvin, I just got him to bed and you woke him up. Luckily, it didn't take very long to get him back to sleep. My mom used to be so mad that I would keep Julie awake. So I would have to stand or sit in my parents' room <laughs> while they watched TV <laughs> until Julie fell asleep. Oh my god! I think I fell asleep in their room more often than not. Yeah. And then your dad probably carried you down yep. into your room. Yep. Last night or the night before, everyone wasn't feeling well. So... I came in from my office working and Jackson and Tommy were both right here sleeping and I had to carry both of them. Jackson's not little anymore. No. He's a big kid. Today was a lot better than yesterday in terms of the sickness. I think the boys had a lot more energy in them and I think that's a good sign. I think their bodies are definitely like feeling better and getting to that point. So hopefully tomorrow's even better and then Thanksgiving will be the best is my hope. Yeah. How are you feeling? Oh, that's all. <laughs> well, one thing that we're doing to help with that is I got a food sensitivity test that you probably saw earlier. We are going to have Ellie take this test and send it in just to see if there's anything that her body is sensitive to. We should have done it two years ago. And I'm kind of surprised that no doctors have done that. Oh, have they done anything? <laughs> it's kind of like, yeah, I don't know. I'm working with a uh, functional medicine doctor because I've had my thyroid on and off kind of over the years. I'm getting a full blood panel. I just really got to figure out these migraines. I wanted to specifically express gratitude at the beginning of the video and at the end of the video. Despite all of the issues that you have faced with your health, I am grateful that you do have so many things going for you, that I have so many things going for me despite my hip. I'm grateful that I can be here to take care of you and the kids. I'm grateful for our family and our friends and our house. So I just wanted to end and begin our video with a little bit of gratitude. Having gratitude in our hearts is one of the best ways that we can be happy. And I have so much to be grateful for. And one of those things is also you guys. Thank you. And thank you so much for watching. With that, we're going to end our evening. We hope you have a wonderful day. Happy Thanksgiving if you guys celebrate. And we'll see you guys next time.